Now, in this video, we're gonna dive into the amazing transformation my student Josh has made, which has all been through online coaching on Skillist, and this is about his transition. And from one lesson to the next, we had quite a big breakthrough in getting him having a good transition. So if you're someone who's really trying to get, let's say their lower body and mid torso rotating first and having the chest a bit quieter, this is the video for you, because Josh would struggle with having that rotate, that chest rotate just a little a bit too early in transition. His lower body and mid torso would rotate, but his chest would go along with it, and the club would just get a little bit outside and he'd get a little bit choppy across it. Now, how we went about then to do this, getting that much better spot and rotate and have the chest be more passive, actually had to do with his head, funnily enough, rather than really work on the sequencing, which we were already doing. We were doing tons of drills, we were doing loads of ones to get the hips open, have the chest more quiet, but this really had that clicking moment for him. Because when I noticed, okay, something I actually liked about Josh's swing was the head rotation and the backswing. Having that head move away to give himself a little bit more turn, I quite like that, very Jack Nicholas-like. But then you've got to think, okay, if there's someone that's rotating the chest a little bit too early, this head's gonna play a big role in it. So if the head is rolling and rotating and getting away, what does it have to do again in the downswing quite fast? It has to rotate back. The facial features have to get back again. But what does that also do? Rotates the chest. So Josh was always gonna have that movement of the chest overly rotating too fast, too early, if his head would rotate that much in the backswing. It would always have to move back, otherwise he would be looking like this in the downswing, massively hanging back on it. So what we did, okay, try this for me, Josh. Let's have your facial features, so where his glasses are, pointing more at the ball in the backswing for as long as he can. And then the exact same stuff we're already working on with the transition go from there. The very next lesson, which I think was actually the very next day he sent in a lesson because he's a subscriber on Skillist where you can send as many lessons in as you want. He then, all of a sudden that next day, boom, was in the amazing positions. He started then to have that lower body mid torso rotate first and the chest was staying quiet because now it didn't have to come back again. Because his facial features stayed a lot more on that golf ball, it had much more of a nice sequencing, which got that club more on path, less out to win. So, way, way better of a golf swing, just with this minute little difference. So, from this video here, guys, the learning part of this for you is, look at the small details. Look at the small details. If you are, really having, it's taken a long time to make a change. I mean, with Josh, we even were making great changes and rates of improvement to his transition, even with that head movement. But just that little thing there, literally had a clicking moment. Clicking moments don't happen in the golf swing, and it was crazy that we managed to get one. So, look at those little things, understand how the body moves. If you're struggling with this extra rotation of the chest too early, look at what the head does. Is the eyes, are they moving away, and do they have to move back again? Look at those little things, and you will get some really good improvements in there. It might even be an area of the goal swing that you might not even be expecting. It might be something that's happening earlier. It might be something that's happening on a completely opposite side of the body to what's happening with your fault. So always keep your eye out on those areas. And of course, if you want me to have a look, absolutely, you can send in some videos on Skillist. Links down in the description. We can fire up an online lesson and get some improvements just like Josh here. So, absolutely. Have a look at the small details. You'll be surprised what you can achieve from there. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video.